Today we're making these extremely easy to make strawberry cake mix cookies. This is a great starter recipe for young kids who are just learning how to bake. Perfect for the upcoming holiday, which is Valentine's Day. We're gonna start off with two eggs, add in a box of strawberry cake mix. The brand doesn't matter, so choose your favorite or whatever's on sale. We're gonna add in half a cup of vegetable oil and mix your ingredients together. I'm using this cookie scoop to keep all of my cookies relatively the same size. It's just a basic standard size cookie scoop. I want to say it's about a tablespoon's worth. Place your cookies on a parchment lined baking sheet and toss them into a preheated oven at 350 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. I took mine out at the 15 minute mark. Here comes the fun part. We're gonna take our completely cooled cookies and dip them into some white chocolate. Then shower them in colorful pink, white, and red sprinkles. Grab your melting candies and microwave them for one minute, stirring every 15 seconds. If your chocolate is too thick, you can thin it out with some vegetable oil or shortening. A little goes a long way, so use it sparingly. There are two kinds of melting candies I like to use. For things like this, dipping cookies and Oreos, I like to use Hobby Lobby's store brand of melting candies. Make and Mold is the brand. If you don't live near a Hobby Lobby, I'll put an Amazon link to it in the description box below. The second brand I use, and what I think is, in my experience, the best, Ghirardelli. They're more expensive, however, their melting candies are ready to go once you melt them. You don't need to thin out the chocolate, they are the kind of brand I like to use for dipping delicate things like strawberries and for making my cocoa bombs. I do and have used both brands though for my cocoa bombs. I will insert an ingredients list right here for those of you that want to make this. Here they are. What a fun and quick cookie to make with your young ones and or grandkids. I have three kids myself and the idea of breaking out all of the typical ingredients, baking powder, salt, sugar, this and that, can seem overwhelming as a first time baking project. I think this recipe is a great starter recipe for new bakers just starting out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out. I'll see you all in the next video.